Hey everyone, that's Wit. That's Doug. <laughs> <laughs> and we're upgrading her computer today. <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> we got all the parts. Hence off. all the stuff. All the parts are in, and <laughs> we're gonna make it all work. So. I think this desk is a little too small. <laughs> you think? Just a tiny bit. We, we need to rearrange things a little, maybe. <laughs> Probably. Okay. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Ready to get started? Yeah. You're, you're doing most of the work today, so. Okay. First thing Fine. we're going to do is drop the screw on the floor. <laughs> Did it really fall? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'll get it. Okay. We have our glass side. Remember, we got glass so you can see mm -hmm. what's going on inside. I think what we ought to do first is probably the CPU. I'll find the screw later. So. The CPU is. Yep, that's this guy right here. This one. All right, so let me actually grab. Be, well, maybe you should grab it, the power cord. And turned off, the, turned off the switch. That way we have a ground, so we can every time we touch the case, preventing static electricity. Oh, so we yeah. Don't want, we don't want to zap anything. We got some expensive stuff here. Mm -hmm. So, so let's do CPU first, which means we need to remove the old one, which is held. It looks like this. We got screws there. Yeah, the big screws down there, down at the bottom. Oh. So you can grab a screwdriver out of that drawer behind you. I think so. That's the only one, only one I keep in that drawer. So. Oh. Yeah. That is... Other way. <laughs> Other... Yeah, there you go. There we go. It makes oh, yeah, that terrible makes a terrible noise, noise <laughs> yeah. that freaks me out. <laughs> Sounds like something's breaking. Yeah. So, and then do it in a cross pattern. So this one first and then this yeah. one. Oh, While you're doing that. I know. It sounds awful. <laughs> I'm grab a knife that here. Sound good. Open the box. So this is Ryzen 9 3900X. Cool. This is 12 core processor. For those who haven't seen any of the previous videos, we're upgrading. <laughs> <laughs> Quit trying to destroy your computer already. Uh, we're upgrading this is why computer. I don't do these types of things. It takes practice. I have faith in you. I'm really good at ruining or breaking things <laughs> on accident. I'm being gentle. Okay. All right. So, unveiling. Da -da -da -da. Ooh. There's, there's the CPU. Wow, that is a big box for a tiny little... Well, there's... Is there more stuff in there? Yeah, there's more stuff in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it also includes the fan. Oh, Cause, okay. Because that fan is not powerful enough for the new processor. That's so sharp. you just, just can disconnect that. Just pull it straight up. All right, now I'm going to move this box out of the way. Yeah, because we have the... Largest workspace ever here. How come I can't get it out? Just pull straight up. Hey. Oh, sorry. It's just grab up here. You don't want... Yeah. Part of the tab that you're grabbing onto is actually part of the motherboard. Don't be gentle. <laughs> I'm not. I'm scared. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I will hang on to that. Good idea. <laughs> well, we'll box that up later. Okay. There's, there's your new processor. Mm -hmm. You remember how we uh, put that in there before? Vaguely. It just kind of dropped in, didn't it? Yeah, but there's this lever on here that locks it into place. So, so you have to lift that, right? Yep. Yep. And then we can lift the CPU straight out. It's going to be got some stuff on it, so. <laughs> got it? Oh. <laughs> That's what you meant by stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Some heat sink uh, compound. I'll get you a napkin here. There you go. I will box that CPU up later. I'm glad I wore white today. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. Yep. And then we're going to look for the gold triangle on the bottom. There. Yep. And that will line up with the triangle right here. And again, just 
if it if it doesn't drop in oh, there you go yeah yeah it drops right into place and then close the lever bingo that was easy yeah yeah none of what we're doing today is particularly hard the hardest part was just getting everything in everything the case. else yeah. <laughs> yeah getting it in the case is a little tricky yeah. all right so this is your new fan oh we got a problem Ooh, what this uses these hook style mounting brackets whereas the old one was screwed down so oh. we're gonna need to put the brackets back on the motherboard and then there's the brackets to go with them i think we kept all that stuff yeah true okay now when, you, when we unscrewed this, the bracket on the back side fell out of the, the holes. So we're going to need to open up the side and the computer and put that bracket, put their bracket on the back, back in. So, so you can hold on to that. I'll, I'll worry about this. Oh, I just put them in here. Yeah, that was a bracket. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay, so we'll take this. Side panel off. Get ready for something to fall out. <laughs> <That's scary. laughs> okay. Hey, do I need to catch something? Maybe. Oh, I think it probably it's probably in the middle. Oh, it's on. It's on. <laughs> it's in the case, right here. Okay. Can't see anything? Oh. Yep. Okay. Okay. So you see where that goes? Stick it inside there. Mhm. Mm no, and then we'll flip this around. Actually, so people can see what's going on. Let's just lay it back down again. I'll, I will hold it, and then you can put the brackets in. Oh, okay. So those guys right there. How? Like, That's gonna go so that th there's a there's a tab that it hooks onto right there. So, so that needs yeah, to go that'll up. face outward. Outward. Oh, okay. Yep. Is it just supposed to yep. just like that and then yep. screw it in? Yep. Exactly. Jeez. <laughs> that's when that's when magnetic screwdrivers <laughs> become annoying. <laughs> hey. Okay, you got it right. Yeah. I don't like it. I don't think I could hold this like this for an hour, but yeah, we're good. <laughs> Did that? I think it's her. Yeah. Is it going in? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And then do one screw in the other bracket, and then I can let go. So that needs to go outward. Yep. Right. Yep. With the handy woman. Why does that not? Why? Is, why what? Oh, it wasn't like going in and scaring me. Okay. So, what's available for household chores? You no. Need, you need a handy woman around the house? Nope. <laughs> I'm the handy woman at my house. That's it. <laughs> we can uh, put the fan, heat sink and fan in. So. Is this better than the other way, or is it just different? Just different. Yeah. This is easier. Um, if you don't have to remove the bracket in the first place. Right. So, but all the higher end fans generally screw down. This is kind of the mm. cheaper way to do it. Oh. It's, it's, it's rather weird. Cause like this is, this is AMD's high end top quality fan that they make, mm -hmm. but it uses the tabs for mounting. So it's weird. Alrighty. So, remember the heatsink compound, how that works? So, sort of. This this already has some on it, so we don't need anywhere near as much as before, but some just a little bit would be good. And got some dust on there, get rid of that. So, so how big again? We like, did it we did a pea size last time, but we're like half of that this time. Just give it a little, a little tiny bit more. Yeah, that's good. That'll work. So, it's not going to need a lot. Okay. It's better to go ever so slightly too much than 
And too little. And too so, little. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. All right. So, the way this goes in, this hook, we'll go over, let's see which way we want to orient this first. So that plugged in over here, right? Okay, so we probably mm -hmm. want that cord facing that direction. Okay. All right, so this will hook over here. And then once that's in place, then you can push down on this and hook it over the other, and then flip the lever in order to lock it to in place. To lock it, okay. Yep. So. Okay. Oh, I'm scared with this stuff. No, it's fine. <laughs> okay. It's, it's supposed to be there. Okay, that one is in. Yeah. In. You might have to use a little force to get it. So. Oh, jeez. Is it? Looks like it's not quite far enough right. over. There we go. Yeah. Ha. Bingo. Sweet. Oh, that was actually pretty easy. Yep. And then that connects the ones. I think it was this one, right? The outside one, yeah. Yep. Okay. Awesome. CPU upgraded. Ooh, and it's clear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it actually lights up. Oh, cool. Yeah, in different colors. So, Sweet. Um, we could wire that right now, actually. So this has its other cable for doing the lighting. Oh. This might actually be easier for me to do. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. So in order to do this, I'm gonna have to remove the graphics card. What is this? It's just a sticker to put on the front of the computer to let everybody know you've got an oh. AMD Ryzen processor. Okay. That's the cool thing that every all the cool kids are doing these days. Put the, the sticker of the well, brand. Well, buying AMD. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I think I don't think we ever so talked I'm, about I'm cool. that. <laughs> Most PCs the PC traditionally crowd. use. Intel branded processors. Oh. We went AMD, which is a totally different company. Oh. And the reason so for we're that. Rebels. Yes, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Got it. I like being a rebel. <laughs> All right. Uh, where's the? There's a little release catch there somewhere. I can't see. Where's? I can't see. Okay. All right. So you can remove that temporarily. Stick that aside. All right. And then this cable. Not that cable. Where did, I, where did I put it? There it is. Okay. It actually plugs in to a little thing on the side of the fan here. Mm. So, yeah. Just easier for me to do here so rather than reorient everything. So. Okay. Yeah. So that cord is going to be used to control the lighting on the CPU. And we'll have to neaten this up. But it plugs in. One of the USB ports down here. So, oh, yeah. so I can control it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you'll be able to control the color of all the all the LEDs. Oh, cool. Inside here, so be able to come up with a nice, cool looking color scheme. Make it all look fancy. Sweet. I would just advise not going all rainbow because it looks kind of tacky. <laughs> I like rainbow. <laughs> We'll see. I'll see how it looks. Yeah, you see so many computers where like they're like they can turn on every possible color they can. There's like no rhyme or reason to it. It just doesn't look good. So it's better to come up with a, like a color scheme that has just like a couple of colors. And... I'll do pink. It's just all pink. <laughs> I think my whole red room is gonna be black and then this white. So yeah, you will probably do green, green and something. Cause... Cause you're, you're kind of embracing pink a little bit more these days, aren't you? Kind of. Last week on a on a shoot, you were wearing a lot of pink. Yeah, pink shoes. I was wearing mostly pink, black pink. though. <laughs> well, well, yeah, it was a shoot, right? So pink shoes and pink. a pink fanny pack. And then a pink water bottle. So and a pink water bottle. <laughs> so it's my accent color. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Should we turn it on? Make sure it works before we proceed. Probably. Oh, my fault. <laughs> there you go. I think it's not doing anything. <gasps> That's so cool. <laughs> I like the rainbow. You see how it's changing too? Oh yeah. It isn't just static. You can notice there's some color there. You're gonna have you're gonna have a lot more color on here when we're done. Sweet. That's awesome. Alright, so if we did everything right, we should get a picture here in a minute. 
too. So okay. yeah, it worked. It came up. So, cool. Yep. Awesome. So everything's everything's good so far. Uh, there we go. There we go. And now it'll only show this. Okay. All right. So let's do the memory next. So yep. there's the box. And, and it's colorful. Yes, it is. We got more lighting. What do I do with my knife? I had a Did knife you have on. a knife? Yeah. Oh. Call, it, call that a knife. <laughs> You know, everybody misquotes that movie. You call that a knife? Yeah, that's not what the quote is. What movie? Carcadale Dundee. Oh, I haven't seen that movie. No. <laughs> <laughs> if I have, it's been a long time. Yeah, yeah, well, everybody says, you call that a knife? This is a knife. But the real the real quote, I looked this, actually verified this a little while ago. The real <laughs> quote is, that's a knife? That's a knife. No, no, something, like, something like that anyway. But it's, 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 it's the same line twice. Oh, it's that's not, a knife? Yeah, yeah. That's a knife. Is it the real Crocodile Dundee guy? Yeah. Oh. I didn't know he did a movie. Well, I, you're, you're probably thinking of Crocodile, uh, um, uh, Steve Irwin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the, no, there's a guy, uh, I can't remember his name, something Hogan, Paul Hogan, did, did these two movies in the 80s called Crocodile Dundee. Oh. And they were pretty good. They were pretty funny. Oh, okay. I mean, it was basically about a Australian guy who goes to New York and culture shock associated with that because he's used to, used to hmm. living in the bush and whatnot. Okay. All right. So... Let's move the, remove the old memory. So you just push these tabs down to swing them outward. Is this what we put in before? No, it's different. Okay. Yeah. Now that there was a, there was a problem with the stuff we put in before, so I bought some new stuff. Oh, so okay. It's actually going in my server, but it worked well in here while we were waiting for your new memory. So, hmm. alrighty. All this like new stuff with the components you can see is making me nervous. Okay. Which uh just figure out which way the where the little notch is. And then push down harder than you think you but you should. You click on both sides? Yeah. Okay. There's your other one. <laughs> I'm like looking at you like <laughs> <laughs> no, that third, third one. Sorry. Yeah, first and third, and then if you ever decide to upgrade to 128 gig, get two more of these, and then put them in the second and fourth slots. So, I suspect that might be a while before you need that much it's memory. It's probably going to be a while. Yeah, this will be good. So, okay. Okay. All right. Let's test. Go ahead. Can you turn that on? Ooh! We have more colors. <laughs> oh, and it changes. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, and you'll, again, you'll be able to set the set all the colors. So make sure it's going to come up. It's probably fine. And then we'll, we'll do a little tweak. In fact, might as well do it now. Okay. I think we're ready to test it. So okay. hit the power button. And then I'm going to go into the settings for the motherboard and tell it that we need to run memory faster than its default speed. Because for some reason, by default, the, it runs about two thirds of the speed that it's supposed to. I don't know exactly why they do that, but yeah, so your memory is actually a lot faster than what it tries to run out of the box. On every computer? On the ones you build yourself. Oh, yeah. the ones yeah, yeah. you build yourself, yeah. okay. Yeah, so this feature right here, extreme memory profile. Mm -hmm. you, need, you have to, you have to well, you don't want it disabled. You want to set its profile one. And then it knows the right speed to run. Otherwise, it runs at a much slower speed to be safe, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, with that set, I'm going to go ahead and save the settings there. And then make sure it boots. And then, yeah. So, you're going to have a lot more color in there before we're done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All the colors. <laughs> Please all not all at once. All the colors. <laughs> it's going to be a disco in my room. <laughs> all right. Should be shutting down. Told it to shut down. Ooh, I like the teal. Yeah, the colors are very bright, vibrant, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I guess on this one, you can set this outer ring color separate from the inner color. So. Oh, cool. Okay, cool. All right. Let's do your graphics card next. Okay. We're getting quite the mess of stuff down there. 
me with that. Yep, so that's, the, that's your graphics card. Ooh, I like the box. There's a knife. So this is where we got the got you the 2060 because it was the best bang for the buck. Yeah. And they have faster, they have a 2070, 2880, and even faster versions of each of those. I kind of forgot what we ordered. <laughs> <laughs> There's, we talked about so many things. Yeah, we went through a lot. And I don't necessarily remember all yep. the differences, so. So we went with the 2060 because in terms of performance in Premiere. What is that? Do not enter without proper electrostatic safety equipment. Touch the computer. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, yeah, we went with this one because in terms of Premiere and After Effects, it was pretty much just as fast as the cards that were a lot more expensive. So, right, okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow, this is really... <laughs> yeah, they're pretty, sens they're pretty serious about the... Package. Got the knife again. <laughs> I'm guessing build a computer wasn't called, probably, probably even, even wasn't on your bucket list at all, was it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, and there's your new graphics card, and definitely need to peel that plastic off. Oh. That looks just like one I put in my server here a couple days ago. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. Hey, I upgraded the server here, too. Oh, cool. So, need to remove the old one. So oh. I can take care of that one since your, since your hands are busy. Now, these are a little tricky. So, this one looks like it's thicker. It is, yeah. It's, it's bigger, more powerful in every way possible. So... All right, so the, removing these is a little bit tricky. There's, uh -huh. a, there's a little tab down here you have to press down on for it mm -hmm. to release. So, there we go. Okay. okay. All right, so... So I need to remove that. Yep, remove that and then... Yeah. Okay. And there's another one over here, too. Oh. All right, and there's the slot that it goes in right there. So like this. So yeah, and then this will go in, in here. What about this cord? Yeah, we'll, we'll just work, have to work around it. Okay. And press down? Yep. Bingo. Okay. And then... Let's see where we put it, but we have to hook a power cable into this one. This one, this is a lot more powerful than your old one. Okay. So this one actually requires power, whereas the old one didn't. And I'm just going to put the screw in here so it doesn't go anywhere. All right, so we need to figure out where I stuffed that cable. So flip, flip the case up. Do you see a loose power cable over there somewhere? Uh, hmm. Yeah, there we go. That's the power cable? That's the power cable. Okay. All right, so shove that through here. I'll grab onto it. All right, and we can lay it back down again. Yeah, this is a step we didn't have to do before. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, to make this neat. So this is going to plug in here, but this little thing on the side likes to wiggle its way around. They have two different style connectors. They have some that have eight pins like this and they have some that have six. And so, oh, okay. so what they do is they just have this little thing on the side. So I take that and then you plug it in right there. Mango. Cool. And then let's figure out a way to make this look a little neater. There's some zip ties or something to just... There's some glitter. <laughs> Thank Perfect. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that put that, that actually should be good on that. So with that, let's this little bracket back on. That screws everywhere here. Oops, I did that backwards. It goes inside. 
Whoops. Whoops. What a rookie move. I know. Seriously. <laughs> Someone take away my computer building card. <laughs> I don't build these as much as I used to. Back in the late 90s, I had a, <laughs> a job that I was doing with a business partner where we built computers for dentist offices. Hmm. And I was building 20, 30 computers a week. Got, got it down to a science. I was able to build a machine, start to finish, with windows installed in under 15 minutes by the time it was all done. So, got pretty good at it. Wow. But I haven't done it quite as much since then. Okay, so theoretic theoretically, we should be able to plug in video and turn it on. Sound effects by like Whitney. A little kid. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> the colors. Looks like we're we're working. Sweet. Yeah, it's coming. It came up in the wrong resolution. That's to be expected because it's got a brand new video card. It hasn't installed the driver just yet. But. Oh. <laughs> That's it. And. Essentially. That's essentially okay. Yeah, they're, they're, they just installed the driver, so everything looks right. Okay. So we are essentially we're done. Essentially done. Yeah. Except wow. oh, I told you I have one little surprise for you. Oh yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Let's make sure this is the right box. Let's see if that is. I think it's the right box. Yes, that is the right box. Okay. Am right. I gonna know what it is? Yeah, you'll, you'll probably figure it out. <laughs> Uh, this is just a little thing I threw in for you. So, I mentioned that you like the idea of having color, <gasps> so I got you some colored light strips that you can put around the edge of the case. Oh, or cool! <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there are four strips in there, and each one of the strips is a little more than a foot long. So. Oh. Cool. So, yeah, you, you've got enough to go around That's at least funny, at yeah. least once. So, what do you think? Should we pause the recording and decorate? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, we'll be back in a, in a bit, folks. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have, Wit? What? <laughs> we have color. <laughs> Ta-da! It's not on. Yeah, so we, no let's, one let's, can see let's it. Let's power it on and see okay. it all lit up. Should we turn on the main switch back here? <laughs> There you go. So yeah. now you can actually see the color on camera. Magic. Yeah. So yeah. So we did LED. That strips. took a minute to do. <laughs> yes, it did. It did. We did LED strips around the outside, just to kind of kind of do a general glow inside the case. So you won't. This will be the only strip you actually see from the outside. Mm. The other ones are just up underneath. But, uh, I like it glowing. Yep. It's cool. It's happy. It's glowing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but, but while we were working that, we, we, we realized we forgot one part to put in yes. there. So, yeah, and yeah. it's a very important part, <laughs> too. Yeah. And it's the part that you said, I can't believe you got a two terabyte. That's right. <laughs> and I was like, so, oh. Yeah. yeah, so we got you a two, two terabyte second SSD. So you've already got the one terabyte in there. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a second two terabyte. So, so three terabytes. That's right. SSD. That's, that's more than like 99 percent of people have so <laughs> oh really yeah oh, yeah yeah most I'm people special? most people who get ssds maybe max out at 512 a single drive but a video editor so obviously we yeah we need a lot more i was like so, i need a lot yeah so let me let me shut this down so this is a what's this called sp silicon silicon power is the brand yeah okay yep Okay, all right, so shut down. Now, in order to put, the, put that in, it's going to be a lot easier if we remove the graphics card, so. Ugh. <laughs> we always have to remove something. <laughs> That's kind of the nature of, of the beast, especially when you don't build them all the time like I used to, you know? Yeah. Back at, I mean, seriously, I had, I used to, like, removing stuff and had it down to a science, you know? Constantly. Do this, do this, do this. And, so. 
Want to do the honors? All right. All right. And then remember, we've got that little clip down there, which I can't see from over here. So you press that, and then the whole card should lift out. Is it black? Oh. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right, so set that aside momentarily. We're running out of space. Yeah, we're running out. We've got tons of computer parts <laughs> over there. Okay. All right, so the other SSD is going to go in here, but we need to figure out where we need to move this to, and then I need to open this package of screws wherever it went. There we go. So I believe that's an 80. So that probably that means this one, I'm guessing. Does that seem right? Yep. Yep, it's an 80. 80 millimeters long. Okay. Definitely don't want to lose those. Yeah. Especially the clear ones. Yeah, <laughs> but the sad thing is all we need out here is one of these oh. and then one of the screws. So, so screw that down. And then grab one of the screws. It may even include a <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> All right. So it's you can mini. you can pop that in there. Okay. How does this? So I just a like, little down, down further. Let's, let's see the. Yeah, there. there you go. Yep. Yeah, it's pushing in all the way. There you go. And then <laughs> you want to do it? Uh. Itty bitty screw. <laughs> I, so I didn't bad, take huh? off the sticker on the bottom. Was no, I supposed no, no, to? No. no. Oh, okay. No. So it's in. Now. Put the graphics card back in. Yep. That one's not as scary. Yeah. It's just a little click. And then. You're going to earn your computer here. Yes. <laughs> do all the work. I can say I helped build it, at least. Yeah, well, you didn't just help. You did it all. So. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Very gracefully, if anyone asks. <laughs> right? Yep. Good. All right, and then reconnect power. You already did that once, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, connected. Oh, no, no. Put this back in. So, but, uh, and while we were installing the uh, LEDs, we tried to neaten up the cables quite a bit, so mm -hmm. hardly see any of them at all. Pretty well hidden overall. No one will ever know. <laughs> No knowing just how just <laughs> how incredibly how, how incredibly complicated it all is. So yeah, I wish we could do a better job of hiding that, but yeah, I don't know what to do with that. Not much we can do, to be honest. It's fine. All right. Well, let's see. We plug the video back in, and uh, we can show setting up the SSD, which we didn't show last time. But there is a little bit of a process to do that. It doesn't doesn't just show up when you install it. So. So, oh, okay. power it on, glass cover back on. I forgot how, I just, if sits. this is even the right way. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so, um, just really fast. So we put a new drive in, mm -hmm. and if we go into Windows Explorer, it's not there. So what we have to do is we have to go down here. If we right click on the start menu and say uh, disk management, it's gonna pop up and say, hey, I detected a new drive. Add the signature to it. And then you scroll down. See, so there it is, two, two gigs. It hasn't been allocated. What we have to do is we have to say new simple volume. Let's go through this real fast. I don't want it to get too boring. But uh, new simple volume, next, next. Uh, we'll make it drive E for right now. And then I give it a name, uh, video, and then say next. 
and finish. And bingo, there it is. So there you've got your two terabyte SSD. Oh. So cool. So yeah. That's done? That's done with that, yeah. I mean if if we wanted to show your monitor, we could get that out and you guys saw it at the beginning. It was the big box. <laughs> we also do need. I also wanted to calibrate it while it's here. Oh. I, like I have calibration. I have the calibration hardware and software. Make sure you're getting dead on colors. Okay. So we'll do that. Um, maybe hook up your speakers. We'll see. But the point is, upgrade's done. So your computer is Ta -da. ready to use. So. Yay! Finally. <laughs> no. <laughs> Seems like it's been forever. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of funny. Like. You, it's been what three weeks, almost three weeks since I got it for you, but you haven't been you able to still use haven't it. Haven't used so. it yet, so <laughs> just I waiting. Don't know, I don't know how you've had the patience. <laughs> I would have been like, "Gimme, <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme." Yeah, it's been tough. Yeah, so, but I've been taking good care of it, making sure everything's, all the software is working up, everything's <laughs> up to date. So cool. So anyway, what's your first project? Oh, I'm going to do an editing contest with Artlist that's due by the 20th of September. So, that's yeah, something anybody can do, right? Yeah, anyone can do it too. Yeah. So, just go on editing competition with Artlist. Yeah. The gist of it is they, they provide media. They buy, yeah, they provide the footage and music. And, and then, then you, you got to make, I'm going to do a movie, fake movie trailer. <laughs> so, those are my favorite. I'll have to show it on the channel. So, oh, yeah, I'll definitely put it up. You guys can see it. Yeah. That'll be a fun one. Yeah. So, okay. Well, um, I guess it's going to be it for this series. <laughs> unless yeah. You want, unless you want to do a follow up later on, let us know how it's working for you. But uh, we can do a follow up. Yeah. But it's it's all working. It's fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll do we'll do a benchmark here. Uh, find out how much faster it is than it was. Okay. But it should be quite a bit better. So anyway. But uh, I guess that's all for now. So. Thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to share, like, and subscri subscribe. All, all that jazz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jazz. <laughs> and yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. So, see you later.